Calabugas with Think Future. Now, one of the things I've noticed by looking at popular media nowadays is that we seem to have lost the ability to be subtle. It kind of drives me a little bit crazy because almost everything is so damn obvious, right? It's so damn obvious. I mean, and it takes me back to a thought where people are saying, you know, make your communications super simple. Right? You have to make your communication super simple. So if you have to make your communication super simple, then you have to make, make your communications direct. right? And if you make your communications direct, then there's no real room for nuance, for subtlety, for presenting something to your audience, which has a little more, requires a little more thought to get through. Right? So there's a lot, Subtly, subtlety is lost with most of the audiences nowadays. You can't say something in a subtle way. It has to be a hammer knock over the head. And I think maybe one of the reasons why this is the case is that we may have lost the general ability to intuit things. Now I'm talking about the company. I'm talking about being intuitive, right? Because there's a lot of times when, you know, we're expecting people to simply understand what we're trying to say and they'd be able to get it. It's like we have a shared connection. I mean, this is something that happens between generations. It happens between genders. It happens between races. It happens between a lot of different kinds of people. I, I might say something and you won't understand it at all because you don't have the same cultural context as I do. So how do we get past that? How do we get through that? It's tough. You try to be clear in your communications, but you can also be clear and subtle at the same time. But the question is, if we've lost the ability to intuit, I mean, this is, if you ask me, a core human trait because of our brain, you know, one of the things that human beings can do is that we can reason, we can think. When we have something placed in front of us, we can figure it out, right? But I think a lot of the media nowadays is the exact opposite. It is so simple and straightforward and bang, 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 hammer blows that we've lost the ability. Maybe the reason why, you know, I don't know if we're worse one way or the other. Maybe the reason why we've lost the ability to intuit is because everybody is being so unsubtle. Or maybe the reason, maybe we have really lost the ability to intuit and that's why everybody has to be so unsubtle. So who knows what came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Well, I think the egg came first because dinosaurs had eggs, right? And chickens were definitely after dinosaurs, right? But I digress. So I think the fact of the matter is that we've, we've, we've gone away from subtlety because I think we've figured that human beings have lost the ability to intuit. We, we constantly underestimate audiences. We constantly underestimate our customers. We constantly underestimate our employees. We always look at them and go, well, they can't do this. They can't do that. When we all have this massively huge human brain that can problem solve, that can intuit, that can think, that can be creative, we all have this. So in your next ideation session, bring in as many people as you possibly can from all types of areas within your organization. High, low, medium, side, like it's gotta be diverse. A diverse set of brains, not just how they look like on the outside, a diverse set of brains with a diverse set of experiences is exactly who you need to bring together for your ideation sessions because all of us bring something to the table and we don't have to be so obvious with all of our communications. Let's go deep. Let's say some things that aren't 100% figure outable. I don't even know if that's a word. At the very second, make it subtle. Get your audience to in intuit some things. Do some things that make them think. Make them think instead of letting them sit back and just you know, suck things in, in a laid back experience. Make your people think. That's one of the reasons why I loved No Man Land as the movie. I mean, there's a few points that I didn't like too much, but 
One of the things I really liked about it is it was presented in a very neutral way. So that when you're looking at it, when you're watching it, you can look at it in many different ways. It was very subtle. Except for, of course, those parts that were hitting us over the head with a hammer. But most of it was very subtle. You could look at it one way or you could look at it another way. And that's what I love about the really good art, really good ideas, really good thoughts can be interpreted in many different ways. Because if you think about it, the audience is actually interpreting it with you. They're not just taking it as it is. They're putting their own spin on it. They're putting their own interpretation on it. Try not to be so obvious in your communications. Let your audience into it. Let them work their brains. And once you let them work their brains, they'll be much more receptive to what you're doing.